Hi, I'm Andy Panko, owner of Tenant Financial. Welcome to Retirement Planning Demystified. If you received a stimulus check or a direct deposit during 2020, you may be wondering if that payment is going to be taxable when you do your 2020 tax return. The short answer is no, it won't be taxable. If you're interested in finding out why, keep watching. And if you like this video, please be sure to click the little like button and subscribe to this channel. But first, a quick disclosure. Remember this video is only general explanations and education. It's not specific tax, legal, or investment advice. Before considering acting on anything you see in this video, first consult with your tax, legal, or investment advisor. In order to fully understand why the stimulus checks aren't taxable, it's important to know the basic process of how income taxes are calculated. When doing your tax return, you first start with adding together all of your gross income. This includes things like your wages from employment, interest and dividends, distributions from IRAs and employer retirement plans, pensions, social security, and capital gains from selling positions within your brokerage account. And then from your gross income, you subtract the greater of a standard deduction or all of your itemized deductions, such as certain medical expenses, state and local taxes, mortgage interest, and charitable donations. The result is your taxable income. And taxable income is what you run through the marginal tax brackets and rates. That then gives you your tentative tax liability. But that's not necessarily your final tax obligation for the year. From your tentative tax liability, the IRS lets you subtract certain tax credits. Tax credits reduce your tax liability dollar for dollar. After accounting for your tax credits, if any, you then arrive at your final tax liability. This is the total amount of tax you needed to have paid throughout the year. Or if you didn't pay enough to cover that during the year, you then have to pay the difference when you file your tax return. Here's where the stimulus payments fit in. They're technically tax credits. In other words, they're not considered income. Instead, they're a reduction to whatever your total 2020 tax would otherwise be. So you may be asking, if these payments are a credit to be applied on my 2020 tax return, why did I get them during the year instead of when I filed my return in early 2021? Well, that's because the government wanted to get this money in people's hands during the pandemic when they presumably needed the money the most. Like if you lost your job in April or May, it wasn't going to help very much to have to wait to get the money when you file your tax return a year later. So instead, the government decided to take these credits and pay them out in advance. When you do your 2020 tax return, you won't have to pay any of the credits back and it definitely won't be considered income. You'll just simply have to report the amount of credit you received. And to the extent your 2020 tax return shows that you should actually receive more credit than you originally did, that excess will be applied as a dollar for dollar tax liability deduction on your return, thereby reducing how much tax you'll otherwise owe. And if you ended up originally receiving more stimulus payment than you should have because your 2020 income was ultimately higher than anticipated, the IRS thankfully won't make you give back any of the stimulus money you received. Well, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful. Again, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel so you can be the first to know when new videos are posted. And don't forget to subscribe to my monthly newsletter, Retirement Planning Insights, which provides informative retirement planning tips and info. Also, be sure to join my free Facebook group, Taxes in Retirement, where you can learn all about tax-efficient retirement planning. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.